Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel. I'm Nico Habil and today I'll be presenting degenerative myopia. So let's start. But first, we need to ask what is myopia or nearsightedness? It says here it is a condition whereby image come into focus in front of the eye, resulting in a blurred image on the retina. So how does it illustrate? So when a normal eye, when you are trying to perceive an image, uh, the ray of light uh, passes through your eye and situated into the retina. So retina in which is the area of your eye that receives the light and convert it into neural signals so that your brain can interpret what is the object, uh, what is the object the person is trying to perceive or to look at. But with the myopic eye, when the light enters your eye, the ray of light is situated in front of the retina, not into the retina itself, but just in front of the retina. So as a result, um, close objects are seen clearly while the distance objects appear blurred when you have a myopic eye. So why do we have to study about this myopia? Because in the Journal of World Health Organization, in the incidence of and prevalence of myopia since year 2000 and the upcoming year 2050 may increase the prevalence of this condition. So it is very alarming and uh, somehow you need to know more about this um, um, condition of your eyes. So yes, it is alarming, right? Since it is a, uh, uh, a affects um, the whole world. So let's go with the causes. What causes myopia? First, we have the cornea is too curved and therefore too powerful. So the front surface of your eye, as seen in the illustration, uh, the cornea is to have cur too much curvature, therefore it is too powerful. So when the light enters your eye, the ray of light cannot pass through directly into the retina and is situated only in front of the retina, causing you a myopic vision. Number two, the eyeball itself is too long. So since the eyeball of your uh, of the patient or a person, the ray of light um, cannot pass through directly or uh, situated into the retina because the elongation of your eyeball uh, prevents it uh, prevents the light or ray of light enters and falls into the retina. So now we have to tackle about this uh, degenerative myopia. So usually this condition starts at birth, but most often starts during the preteen years. And it is believed to be a hereditary type of myopia. So let's start. So yes, uh, it is one of the leading cause of legal blindness occurring in about 2% of the US population. It is also most often seen in people of Chinese, Japanese, Middle Eastern, and Jewish descent. So it is more prevalent with Asian uh, race. So I have a journal here that a uh, journal about in China, the China's Air Force rec uh, recruitments hits by poor eyesight of Air Force pilots. So experts warns that the uh, myopic condition of the Asian people is more, um, more uh, emerging than those in the U.S. countries, uh, U.S. part of the uh, world. So degenerative myopia is more severe than other forms of myopia and is associated with retinal changes potentially causing severe loss, uh, severe vision loss. So yeah, so if you have this uh, degenerative myopia among all the myopia in, um, in uh, classification of myopia, this is the severe one. This condition can start at birth like I've said earlier and it is believed to be hereditary. So normally, your eyes aren't designed to grow longer throughout life. And in with degenerative myopia, the growth is uneven. So mainly, degenerative myopia is caused by the uneven growth of your eyeball. Parts of your eye, such as your sclera, which is found here, and the retina around here, um, can be stretched and pulled as the eye grows. So in time, the structures will pull and be cracked and eventually lead to uh, retinal detachment, which causes a serious uh, vision loss and may affect the individual's living. So, what are the struggles of patients with degenerative myopia? 
So, um, like if any any diseases or uh, condition in the eye, they have the patients have struggle or a person who has degenerative myopia uh, has uh, signs and symptoms. So first we have the decrease of vision. So when you have a a, a degenerative myopia, uh, you tend to have decreased in vision mainly for uh, far vision because um, the like I've said earlier the the ray of light um, is situated in front of the retina, causing the uh, nearer objects come in a, come in a um, clearer view than the farther view. Next is the headache. So the headache. So uh, another thing with uh, myopic patients tend to have headache because um, when the eyes cannot uh, fully uh, fully identify the object, um, it can cause headaches and um, by the by the um, um, result of your uh, nearsightedness. Then we have light sensitivity. So people tend to have light sensitivity if they are myopic, since since the light is um, too much for their vision. Um, the light sensitivity is a uh, uh, most common and uh, part of the. Uh, struggles of a patient having a myopia or even a degenerative myopia. So what about the management? So we go with the management. So we have three most uh, common management. We have glasses, contact lenses, and laser surgery. Glasses, uh, lenses are easy to pop off and take off, pop on and take off so that they can be helpful for people who struggle with vision change. So the most common is glasses. Then we have the contact lenses. Contact lenses is situated inside your eye, so that you can, um, you can, it can, uh, you can correct the uh, refractive error that you have by means of putting contact lenses. However, surgery. Keep in mind that this option isn't always available for people with degenerative myopia, as you need as as, as you need a stable prescription to take advantage of this procedure. So it is usually not recommended, or not all of the uh, patients with degenerative myopia has to undergo with laser surgery. So the question is another question: Can myopia lead to low vision? Of course, yes. However, this is rare. Uh, because um, in extreme circumstances, myopia or nearsightedness can lead to serious vision-threatening complications, including blindness. This is rare, although, and occurs primarily cases in where high myopia has reached an advanced stage called the degenerative myopia, like the one I am uh, talking about. It is where the elongation of your eyeballs is uneven and thus damage your retina and in the other structures of your eye. So uh, myopia lead to blindness. So yes, as I've said earlier, a detached retina is very serious threat to a person's vision. So as you can see in the illustration, there uh, a normal eye, uh, a normal length or axial length of the eye of a person uh, is usually like this, but with uh, degenerative myopia, the elongation in, of the eyeball is a bit longer. So um, there is also a recent study that more than half of all retinal detachments are attributed to um, myopia. So particularly to degenerative myopia. So for example, uh, as the eyeball stretches, so this is your eyeball. So as the eyeball stretches and elongates, the retina stretches right along with it. So since the retina is attached in the eyeball at the back portion of the the eye, uh, when you elongate the, uh, when the eyeball elongates, your retina also uh, uh, stretches. A tear or hole develops in the thin retina, allowing the fluid to penetrate beneath it. As it this fluid builds up, pressure increases until it separates the retina from its underlying um, tissues. So. Most of um, the low vision patients have uh, degenerative myopia that lead them to low vision and with visual impairment. So symptoms of a uh, uh, detached retina includes the light, uh, light flashes, floaters as you can see in uh, your vision, and also blurring of vision. So 
um, uh, degenerative myopia in general is a serious and sight-threatening event that should be brought to the attention of an eye care professional immediately. So thank you for listening, guys. Thank you. This is my report. Thank you.